Barney Curley's just no, coming no, over here. Barney, Barney Curley's just right. coming over. You are talking absolute rubbish. From my point of view, he had the sharpest brain in racing. He knew what he wanted, he knew where he was going, and he knew how to get the job done. You know, his accomplishments in racing is probably 1% of what he's done in life. If anyone's lucky enough to go to Zambia, what he did out there, you have to see it to believe it. Even when he was at the horses there, it was always the, the DAFA. DAFA IE was the main thing. Everything was evolved around that. That was the main priority in life after the race horse as such. Yeah, he's a fantastic man. He's, he's done so much for so many people. He had a very good sort of subtle little grin to him and he had a good sense of humour. He was a very kind man, I think. Barney, could we ask you one question, a personal question? Did you back the horse yourself? No. It was very shrewd. The, the, the history books speaks for itself how shrewd he was. And he always liked to get the nice type horse and he had lots of patience. It didn't make a difference. He only wanted him for the one day. He knew his horses inside out and he knew the farm book and he was just a loyal a loyal punter as such and very good at it, very, very good at it, you know. It's quite good when he blows his top, it's quite fun that, but he was a very good man and a great character to racing has been lost. Right, the show's over boys, thank you very much. There's so many people affected by his loss and so many people whose lives he touched throughout his own remarkable life.